friends, we're picking something up. Let's see what we got. What did we get, Jake? We got a cow. We got a cow? Yeah, or calf. A calf? It's pretty cool. It looks cute. Oh. Hello, little one. Yep, that's right, friends. We got our first beef cow. It's a Jersey steer. He's already been castrated, so we don't have to worry about any of that. And how old is he? Oh, we'll find out right now exactly how old he is. But he's so cute. I think I just want him to be my best friend now. All oh, those eyes, they're so cute. That's it, babe. We're getting a bunch of cows. Alright friends, so it is the next day after getting our cow, get, after getting our calf, Henry, and Jake is going to go ahead and feed him right now, so I'm going to take you guys along while we feed Henry. So Jake, what do you think of Henry? He's cute. He's but cute. He keeps trying to headbutt me. Headbutt you? Yeah. He just wants love. No, he doesn't. He wants blood. <laughs> Crazy kids. He's too sweet. He's just a baby. All right. So Henry is doing really good. We have him in number three stall. So that's where we used to have Hagrid, our pig. But we decided to go ahead and graduate Hagrid out to the barn, outside of the barn in that big area that he has. He's a big pig. He's perfectly fine being out in the elements. We'll build him a shelter this weekend that he can go in during the heat or if it's really raining hard, he can go in there. But for now, we have him outside the barn. Leads us to Sniffles. So Sniffles is right over there. This morning when we opened up the barn, we noticed that he was not acting right. Normally he is jumping up. As soon as we open up this gate, he is yelling at us saying, bring me the food. He's hungry. He wants to eat. He meets us right here at the gate. And he didn't do that this morning. He was just laying down. He looked at us, but we could tell instantly that something was just off. And he wouldn't really let us get close enough to, to check anything. So I called my friend who actually helped us out with trimming his and Fiona's hooves. And I asked them, you know, what should I look for? What do I need to do? So they told me to go ahead and check his temperature, uh, check his breathing, check his eyes. I did all that. Temperature was 103. Breathing was fine. And the color in his eyes and his gums was pink, which means um, that he's good. No parasites or no worms. If they were to be like a pale color or white, that means they have worms that need to be dewormed like ASAP. But he didn't have any of that. So another thing that they told me to do was, um, another thing that they asked me was minerals. And it completely dawned on me that 
I had bought him a salt block and I had it in there with him, but when we got Fiona, I went ahead and took it over to Fiona and completely forgot to buy another one for him. So I went ahead and got the salt block, put it in there for him, and lo and behold, he started going to town on the salt block. Then he started eating. Then he started drinking. So he's starting to come around. So definitely his electrolytes were off. And that's why he wasn't acting the way he should be. That was my fault. I needed to be on top of that and completely slipped my mind. But lesson learned. Now I am going to get him a mineral block uh, and Fiona one. Also, they suggested that I get some electrolytes for their water since it's been so hot. I'm going to do that as well and put some electrolytes in their water for the next couple days just to kind of get them back into feeling better. But he really is a sweet boy. Aren't you Sniffles? So another thing that I noticed is that he needs to have his hooves trimmed again. The He's got one in the front and one in the back that are getting really long. So I need to come in and trim his hooves. And then Fiona, she still has issues with thrush on her one foot. So we still have been treating it. I can't figure out why it's continuing because she's in a controlled environment. It's not like it's wet. And thrush usually comes from being exposed to a lot of moisture. So I'm gonna to continue to treat her and I'm actually gonna do that right now, give her her treatment. But she's doing really good. I'm really happy with how she's doing. And they, the two of them really like each other. They're constantly sniffing each other through the fencing. And I'm pretty sure she might be going into heat because I've noticed him a little excited a few times here and there when she's around. But she's not quite old enough to be bred yet. We are gonna wait until she's a year old. That was what was recommended, is one year before we go ahead and breed her, because I don't wanna have any issues of her not being big enough to deliver any of the lambs. All right, friends, so we're gonna go ahead and close it up for the night, get it all ready for bed. We're gonna do our last feeding. Jake is actually taking some feed over to our pig right now. But I hope you enjoyed this video, friends. Thanks for hanging out with us. Until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends and family. As always, I hope all is well and have a blessed day.